What is going on guys? Welcome back to my Barcelona FIFA 18 career mode series and I am back from my holiday. You would have seen I haven't uploaded for a week uh, but I'm back now though in a few days, four days away over Christmas, I'm going to have a bit more of a break as well uh, with family going on a holiday a uh, place we used to go a lot when we were younger but I'm sure you guys will be busy over Christmas as well. You won't be spending as much time on YouTube uh, but I will record a bit over the next few days so I can continue to upload. Hopefully I can get a lot of videos recorded. But uh, yeah, now we will get into it. Don't forget to drop a like if you want to see more of this series. We'll get back into it now. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you want to see more. Drop a big thumbs up. Uh, as we've got a game in a couple of days, uh, we did win the first game of the season in the league. So that was a good start. But guys, a couple of messages here. One we just got today and of course from the previous episode Jordi Alba I read some comments where you guys said maybe we can consider an offer next season because right now he's at his best and yeah there wasn't really many comments to accept uh, the offer or even to negotiate more so keep Alba for now but yeah if offers come the following season he'll be 29 close to 30 maybe consider it then so for now I think it will just be yeah rejecting that and see, guys, even with the offer for Suarez, see, I don't want to be selling a lot of Spanish players we have because my first thought is, who do we replace him with? Like, he's a good young player. He's 23 years old. He's got about 87 potential. Uh, in the update, I started this career mode, so I feel like you might as you should be keeping that player. He's a player we should be keeping because with Barcelona, it's not really a concern of how much money you get. It's, yeah, because Barcelona will have a lot of money. We've had a lot of money. We've made a lot of transfers in and out. I just think it's more the fact who would we replace him with. And I feel a 23-year-old guy with 87 potential midfield can play multiple positions. We might as, we, sh well, we should be keeping someone like that in the team. Because as I mentioned, I don't want it to get to a point where it's going to be seen unrealistic with so many transfers. As I said, look at the transfer budget. We could accept that or maybe get him around 30 million or something, sell him for 30 million. So we're going to have more than that money to get his replacement. You know what I mean? A rotation guy in the team. We could more <laughs> get a world-class player. Oh, yes, of course. I forgot because I haven't played this career mode for about a week with being away. I just got reminded of Messi's injury and it was three months. So we're going to be you're missing Messi for three months. So there's a challenge there right now to make it harder for us. There you can see broken ankle, 100% fit in three months. Oh, wow. It's a bit annoying because don't forget Messi is 30 years old. And he's only going to be declining. And I want to use him as much as I can at his best. But... 30 years old and a three-month injury isn't a good mix in career mode because that will make him decline attribute-wise even more. Even though, yeah, he's best in the world uh, with Ronaldo. Again, don't want to start that discussion. But it's just, that's so long. That's so long going to be without our best player. But I always like when I have an easy replacement. I say easy, but Dembele is 10 ratings lower. When you think in your first team, if you have a player that's 10 ratings lower, he's probably not going to be that good. But Dembele is a very effective player for us. Even though he's one of the lower rated players of the first team, he's very effective. And don't forget, we made the signing of Martinez. I feel he's a guy we can actually put on the bench and give some game time into. Obviously, as a signing, want to develop him. So, yeah, he's got the target forward trait. Um, 20 years old, got some potential in him as well. I think he's one we need to train, definitely with his skills, but physicals uh, very well balanced, like sprint speed and strength. Uh, he's very balanced in that respect. He's not weak in terms of those. Like some players might be really quick, but then some might be weak. And the opposite side, if they're really strong, they won't be that fast. But I like how he has the strong mix there. But we will progress into the next game with that squad. It's still, apart from Messi's injury, uh, the squad is still strong. Should we have the alternate kit? Uh, I think we can roll with that, something a bit different. Haven't used that one yet, so yeah, we'll try it out. And guys, I got a comment uh, recently, I can't remember what video, but it was about like sliders. Like someone suggested I should show after I score a good goal. Like some people think I use sliders to make it easier, but I've... Uh, you guys know, like, my long-term... I never change it. I keep them the same. I don't move anything. I've never touched it. Like, literally. Some people don't believe me, but I've never, ever adjusted them. Not even privately. Like, in, like, 
private career. I just play the game as it is. So, yeah, that, that's all I can say about it, really. I never touch sliders, but... And also, uh, and uh, the fact of it being on Legendary, I feel like I have to progress into the game, like we'll do now, so it proves I'm going into it. You see, you had said the difficulty on Legendary. Some people think I change it before I go into... Oh, man, I don't know why. Like, try, <laughs> trying to, like, uh, say I cheat in a certain way. Oh, oh, man, it's so funny. It's so funny. But as you can see there, I feel like I'm going to have to go into the game like this. <laughs> so, you see, I don't change it. Oh, man. Now, they're going to Munir again. He's going to whip it in, but Jordi Alba gets into the center there very well. But, yeah, we lose possession. Now, we got to keep the pressure on. Uh, that shot was a bit of a weird one there. <laughs> but I think we're going to have to step things up here. I think we're going to go to attack. Yeah, attacking mentality. I think we need that. But keep in mind, I might be a little bit rusty as I haven't played FIFA for a week and a few days. <laughs> Rakitic. But Suarez. We've got something going right here. Now it's Dembele. He's replaced Messi. Okay. Oh, good passing though. And now Rakitic should finish. There we go. Good build up. Well done by Dembele especially. He's got his back turned. Come on, come celebrate with us. There he is. Ah, oh, I like the replay as well, like that transition. So look at that. Rakitic. Uh, he's, he's, I think I was suggested to sell him, but yeah, like some suggestions as well I'll keep in mind. Like if players are good for me, I'm not going to sell them. But Rakitic, yeah, yeah, he's class finish on. Obviously, he's getting a bit older, so you got to keep that in mind. But especially the first season, I want to keep like the main first team. You know, there's going to be some players that leave, but yeah, you know what I mean. And then we can look at the build, building the team more in the second season onwards with other signings. So hopefully, we can do well, uh, win everything in sight uh, this season with the current squad. Even though we have improved it, uh, which which I think we needed to improve it, and we did. And Conte did very, very well. So, this is my style of FIFA, I guess you can say, how I play. A lot of time, I like to not concede a goal. Obviously, that what most people would do, but I don't score so many goals. There might be some rare games where everything just goes well, but as you see, got possession, not so many shots. Of course, you'd love to have more, but... We don't look like conceding a goal at the same time. It's, I feel like whatever formation I use, I'm still strong defensively. Like with Man United, I play like 4-3-3 attack and I'm still pretty good defensively. Don't concede so many goals. Ooh, Tostegan, I don't think he had to save that one, but I'd rather him be careful, even though I saw that wasn't going to be a goal. But yeah, it's better. And I don't mind conceding a corner I was going to be careful there with what I said because sometimes we can counter and then have a opportunity that happens more often than I concede actually so that's why I say I don't mind conceding a corner because more often than not the corner turns into attack for us and my control has just run out fuck okay we've got to be careful got to be careful well done to Stegen but the court the cross was pretty poor to be fair well easy to defend Ah, oh, and I love bringing on Delfo. He's so quick, so dangerous. See, look at this. They can't, they can't contain him, and probably should have finished. And Dembale is going to uh, get the tap in essentially. But that was all uh, Gerard Delfo right there. He, he's too uh, with his pace. Those players are amazing. Players that have good pace, but then really high dribbling ability. Sure, he can be pacey, but. You're going to be more effective. You can control the ball really well. Uh, it was a decent shot, powerful, to force the parry uh, straight into Dembele. Who's meant Dembele is his second goal in the league. But yeah, I feel anyone would have scored that. Now, Conte. Can we just finish off the game in style, Suarez? Oh, that, that has to be a penalty. That has to be a penalty. That was well won with the skill move right there. I love when you win penalties like that, when it's down, like the skill, the skill that wins it. So we'll definitely take a look at the replay, see if we can see, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In a way, it's it's almost an easy way to win a penalty, but of course, the opposition still has to commit, but they usually do, especially uh, when they are losing and it's late in the game. But I think Suarez, we're going to go with this penalty, Suarez is a good pen taker, uh, we'll go to the right. Hopefully, this will be the right decision, and it is. The keeper didn't even move. 
So pretty happy with that for Luis Suarez. Uh, makes it 3-0. And he's pretty happy with that. As you see on the replay, yeah, I think it could have been safe. Or would have had to be a good guess. It would have had to be a good guess because it had some power in it as well. Uh, but yeah, Luis Suarez finished off the game. That's actually his first goal in the league as well. But yeah, we've got uh, players sharing the goal today. Rakitic, Dembele and Suarez respectively there. Uh, yeah, a good, t good team performance. And hey, we end with three goals at halftime. I was like thinking, yeah, we're not a team that uh, attacks too much. Or my style, yeah, we like to make sure we don't concede goals. Uh, but as you can see there, uh, we had a good attacking performance. Ends 3-0. Managers shaking hands. There you can see the game actually ended 50-50 possession. They had a bit more possession in that second half, which, yeah, I'm not surprised because they they just maintained possession, but they didn't really do anything with it. So they only had the one shot on target for the game. We had eight shots on target from eight shots. So 100% shooting accuracy. Normally you win games uh, when that happens. Uh, Dembele, he had a fantastic game. Let's just analyze it a bit more. Obviously, he scored the goal, so his rating would have boosted with that. He had one shot on target. That always helps. Uh, we've got... See, yeah, obviously, <laughs> yeah, all our shots were on target. So every player who took a shot, yeah, it would have been. <laughs> and the pass is completed. Uh, Dembele, only two out of four. Half of his passes. He didn't have too many. Uh, but uh, Kante uh, did really well in terms of that. I think he was the best passer of the game. Suarez, uh, he did well. Also, Roberto, when he came on, he made... Well... Sometimes tackles, do you notice sometimes tackles don't get counted when players make interceptions? They're more interceptions and not a tackle, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, Roberto, that's why he got over that 7 rating just. But I feel, yeah, he had an excellent performance when he came on. Really simple. But guys, into a training session now. So as you know, uh, these guys are added. I'm wondering if we can get someone else instead of Dembele right now. I am just not too sure if he should or not. Uh, but obviously, we got the guys. We'll say promoted. We signed them, but yeah, we'll, we'll say promoted if this was real life. Uh, the Kukurea and then uh, Alenia, we we brought them through. And they're gonna, and Martinez, uh, we signed. He's not from Barca B, obviously, but the other lads were uh, that I mentioned. And uh, Pelard, obviously, was scout a future star. Good young goalkeeper. Though his potential didn't look the best initially, but sometimes that can happen. Uh, but I know his attributes are good as a goalkeeper, just his goalkeeping positioning. You'll see that's the one that will go up more anyway. So that will still become a decent attribute if we train him strongly. As you can see, uh, that keeps <laughs> it goes up more dramatically and his overall keeps shooting up as well. A monthly scouting update here as well. As it's transfer deadline day, so we see uh, who's going to come through. Check out some other, there's like latest deals, but yeah, they're probably not going to be huge ones. It's just the top deals, so you can see some big movements. You see Insignia there goes to uh, Bayern, and oh, yeah, we, we have a couple of them. We have a couple of them there, but we will check out the monthly scouting update right now. This is of Spain, and yeah, the ones... I don't show you, like I'll go through to reject ones that are like bad potential, we'll go through them all, you can see Franco Gomez, uh, we'll just see if any of them is worth signing up, but none of them are too amazing actually. So the ones that I end up leaving are around, Adrian Alvarez probably was the best, uh, but you see some with max of 91, minimum of 67, there's a few similar ones like that, but they're all one month. So I like to just see one more update. You can be surprised sometimes. You get surprised. So yeah, even with Adrian Alvarez, that minimum potential still needs to be higher for mine. But yeah, transfer-wise, I think we've done our business already this season. We don't need to. We don't need to make any more transfers. I'm really happy with what we've done transfer-wise. And if you just want to see here the players uh, we've brought in, we've brought in some of uh, the younger talents uh, lately, like a. Uh, most recent transfers, but obviously, yeah, there's the main movements in the first team. Uh, Coutinho, 85 million. Uh, Turant, we sold to Juve for 24 million. Considering he's 30 years old, I thought that was a good move. Uh, Vermaelen in the same boat. He's 31. Kind of like, yeah, those 31, 30-year-olds. 30 try and move them on, get money for them while we can. And we sign Kante from Chelsea and Koulibaly from Napoli. Sergio Busquets, Liverpool actually activated his release clause, didn't have much say in that. So yeah, Vidal, he went to Man United, Mascherano to Man City under Pep. So you'll see some uh, realistic things happening. You'll see, it's not going to be, please no, it's not going to be 100% realistic. It's almost impossible to do that because then the CPU transfers, like all the 
it, a career mode is never going to be realistic because the CPU is going to make unrealistic transfers. So you can be as realistic as you want yourself, but it's if you want it to be completely 100% realistic, you're going to be disappointed because you'll be playing against teams with players you don't think they should have. So yeah, don't go in <laughs> to career mode with that kind of expectation or you only get disappointed, to be honest. And let's see how we go here. Are we, if we're going to get any any offers maybe we will consider some oh umtiti see this is one i'd be interested in because we we signed we signed cooler bali so i think umtiti right now is good backup but i think he's worth considering with the money we do have maybe we could get a replacement for him that's maybe of a better quality to me there is better options than him for example if we check him out right there I love having a really, really strong center back, and he's only 79 strength. He's got outside foot shot. That doesn't really benefit a center back. Like, you don't really need that. Sure, can be handy, but if they're not a good finisher, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, and he's six foot, so he's not really tall and not really strong. I just feel there would be better options. And tackling stats, they're solid. I don't want to just ignore what he's good at. Yeah, he's a strong tackler. Very good jumping, so that kind of makes up for his lack of height six foot is not short but in terms of center backs yeah you want a guy who's at least six foot two i love like six foot four <laughs> defenders ideally like pk uh, pk is like for me like a model center back that's what we that's what we would love but then cool about he's six foot two obviously that's still a very tall player uh, but he's really really strong so that mix of him and PK is perfect so we're going to propose a new transfer i know he does have a uh, decent potential i think we said like about 87, 88, which <laughs> thinking about it, that's actually really good. So I would, I would need to demand a very high amount, like 65 mil, I'd say. Cause then yeah, our money will be crazy. And then we can, even though if he has really high potential or pretty high, I think then we can get anyone we like <laughs> essentially. Uh, if they're not going to offer like a, a big amount, I'm not going to really consider that. Like personally, I wouldn't want to go any lower than 60 or not, not too much lower anyway. I'd, ex I'd be happy. Uh, if that's as much, I'm going to do it. It'd be nice if you can do like a final offer. So they know, but I'll go like this. I'll go 58 mil. I'm not going to go lower. And that was like his like market value maximum. Wasn't it? Something like that. So yeah, we'll go. F I'm not going to, yeah. It says it. We're not willing to take less than 58 mil. There you go. Sorry, Roma. Uh, yeah, they didn't They didn't want to pay the big bucks for him. Because, yeah, as you know, like he has got pretty high potential. And I was, I was willing to negotiate, but not for a price that was not... Like, they were offering not even 10 million above his value. So, normally I like to get close to double at least. For a guy that's got potential and room to grow where his value is going to increase, actually. So he should be worth more. Or he will be worth more. But then we do get another offer for Suarez, but I feel like... See, he's not a first-team player, but he's a guy that's only going to get better and we'll use him as a rotation type. So I feel like, yeah, we... I'm not really interested... I'm, I'm really happy with our squad for the season, essentially. So yeah, we're just continuing and we'll just see in case we get any other offers... But I have a feeling, yeah, like we're not going to go through with anything selling player-wise. <laughs> Unless someone meets a release clause, but I'm not sure they would. Okay, but I feel it's going to be too... It's like a really late... Actually... Ooh... Is that uh, Yas Jasper Schillison? I'm not trying to say his last name. Uh, I want to... Oh, I'm not sure who will get accepted, but I want to try and sell him. I just don't feel... Because he's 28. You know what I mean? So we'll try and get a fee, hopefully. So how about we pro propose a new fee? Okay, we'll go 10 million more than that. Hopefully that's not too extreme. We'll go, oh, we'll go 25. You know, I like that flat number. But yeah, we'll see what they come back with. Okay, 7... I'll go... I'll drop to 20. Oh, 20. <laughs> See, I have my reaction. I'm just like, oh, not sure about that. We'll go 22. 22 million. And I think that could be a fair amount, but then an amount we'd be really happy getting for him. Ooh. 
let's go. I think I'm going to accept that because it's pretty close to what I offered. And yeah, because the longer they go on, the more the chance they could just storm out. And a guy, essentially, we're not using at all. Like, zero. <laughs> I feel like we just accept that. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that deal. Let me guys, yeah, let you guys know. Uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about that. Because he's a guy we weren't really using. And then also, going forward, let me know if we need a younger goalkeeper. But yeah, we just got a younger goalkeeper. <laughs> the, the youth guy. So we'll see. Just hopefully it goes through. If it does, uh, I'm not sure. It's not going to... The deadline day has ended. Fuck you, can't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I get pissed off with that. I piss... <laughs> if that was real life, the deal would have been made there and then. Fuck. Uh, it's, it's just annoying. Like, the managers and everyone involved in that deal, they'll work hard to get it done before... Like, it's not like FIFA. You just press continue and it ends. It's... It's... That just annoys me. But anyway, guys, let's see the other scout report. Ooh, Cardozo is not terrible. He's a guy who'll probably leave still. Still want that minimum potential at least mid-70s. And anyone else will go through and... Uh, yeah, you guys know the one I'll decline. But yeah, definitely none were signing up. A couple will leave. Yeah, those lads, they may get a good update after their first month there. So, yeah, Bruno Ferreira, another goalkeeper, but... Yeah, probably needs to be a bit better. Well, definitely needs to. Then training session available. Go through and do the same, but we need to make a replacement. Uh, as you can see, uh, Dembele is out on international duty. I think we trained Suarez. He's still got that potential in him, Dennis Suarez. Uh, we'll just take a look at where he could be best improved. I'm um, thinking high pressure finishing. That's only difficulty of medium. But yeah, volleys and heading accuracy need to be improved. So we'll roll with that one for him. I don't, I like to do them hard difficulty because they improve quicker. But yeah, <laughs> uh, not too bad ratings for all the players though. And see, the transfer will still probably go through. But we just have to wait for it. It will just be outside of the window, I think. And there we go. Yeah, as I said, it will probably be outside of the window. So, yeah, I knew that would have happened, but at least the deal goes through. And that's not the worst thing because we still have him for backup now. Who knows? A disaster A disaster may happen for Ter Stegen. So it's not completely the end of the world. I just get a bit frustrated in the moment when there's two hours left and you accept the deal. So the, the other party have two hours. There's still two hours left for them to negotiate the contract where we negotiated the transfer on the spot right there so i think what do you guys think like in person like in real life should that be enough time for the deal to be accepted if it's not offers shouldn't come in then in career mode it's just a waste of time essentially even though the deal eventually goes through <laughs> but but it's outside of the window now but as I said, anyway, it's not the worst thing because maybe we can think of another signing. Though, Paylag could just be the backup keeper. Normally, you don't really need to utilize the backup keeper too much anyway. But guys, because we're at the start of the new month, uh, we're going to go to the attributes and we're going to see the overall changes. Paylag has gone up plus three. So yeah, we're like we've trained him really well, but some first team players uh, have gone up in their overalls. Alcacer, he's on 80. Uh, Martinez, uh, 73 now. Dembele, 84. Some you know already, they've already improved that through the season. So, yeah, I think Kante, yeah, he just improved up to 88. So, that is very effective. Uh, see, this is different to previous years. It's good that I like how they updated it from the squad report. But you kind of have to go across. And normally, you just go down and you see them all on the right side. Uh, but, yeah, Gomez has had some improvements as well. So, I'm also note out, like, key key players that have improved, uh, like, yeah, Conte, which he hasn't improved in so many, he's improved in a few, a few of his attributes, some physicals, which is good, uh, but yeah, definitely, Paylard, he's going to need to continue to be trained, especially positioning, goalkeeper positioning is one of the most important attributes, so you can see that's gone up the most, handling and kicking, I still probably need to train the handling and kicking, we'll just, yeah, change up the training, but he is going to develop pretty strongly, I think, I don't think he'd be a superstar. But guys, this will be one of the games we simulate. Obviously, still early in the season. But, you know, I don't want my seasons to be a lot of episodes. So, I don't want the feeling where people are going to drop off towards 
the end of the season or before we get to the end of the season because i've experienced that like i've made youtube videos on karimo for five years so i do experience like the views go lower as the season goes on you know what i mean so yeah people don't want to be just waiting forever to get through so many league games so we'll simulate that at, and we'll get the two nil in just make sure we don't get any injuries or anything nothing terrible but yeah you guys know what i mean i'm sure maybe you've guys experienced that you might have got bored of a series like yeah you just want to get into the next season right now that's what happens so yeah i don't want them to drag on and then another training session here. Let's see how the boys go. Hopefully get some good development. And some more rate. Oh, at least Suarez gets an A this time. So he gets a perfect rating and still doesn't <laughs> get to the next level uh, of the attribute. But yeah, definitely he will soon enough. And guys, the final game we'll play in this episode after we went through the transfer deadline day as well. And look, Barcelona new hero. So that proves there's a good signing, Conte. But yeah, Olympiacos for our first Champions League game of the season. You always get it. Oh, I, I know I do. Let me know what you guys think. But I always get more excited when Champions League uh, comes around. We have Champions League matches. Uh, but hey, uh, that's what you want to be winning, the Champions League. But obviously the league as well. So guys... Let's get into it. As you can see, legendary difficulty. And I don't want to... I feel like, yeah, I don't want to show it every single match. But I just want to let you guys know I'm not... I'm not I'm not changing. I'm not changing anything at all. Uh, so, you guys know. I want to do that now. I'm not going to do this like every single episode. I just feel like... So, we prove that. And we go difficulty on legendary. See, above Barcelona's name. We're into the game. So, I can't change it. I'm playing on legendary. So yeah, come on, let's just get into the game. <laughs> and even for the match preview there, sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to wait for the teams to show. They take take their time, especially when recording as well. It's like you want to get through the games. So I can get to editing and upload the video as soon as possible. <laughs> Suarez. This is good stuff. We'll get it through the middle. And this should be a goal. The pass made that. And Rakitic, his runs from central midfield are so good. He gets in great positions, amazing positions. But the pass made it. The pass made that goal. Absolutely love that. We'll take a look on the replay that set that up. And take a look at the fans, Barcelona fans here. Yeah, look at this pass. Look at that. It looked like a simple pass, but it was perfect. It's how he wanted it. Rakitic didn't have to break stride. And uh, yeah, uh, we get the goal. But they're looking for a quick attack. Sounds like something you do in Pokemon, but yeah, uh, we end up defending that quick attack. Now Rakitic. Oh, almost good pressure. Oh, it is good pressure. We, oh, come on, man. Too soft. Oh, we get the free kick? No wonder. I like that. But now I'm wondering how we got it. But now Suarez, you know I love this stance. But can we pull it off? Suarez! If you've watched my career modes this year, like Man, Man United one, I haven't been that good at free kicks. But I tell you why I love that stance. I can hit free kicks like you could in FIFA 16, FIFA 15. You don't have to put too much bend on it or anything like that. You can just go up and over, essentially. And I miss those. You can't do those with other stances. Like, the free kick just goes so badly. And that was inch perfect. Yes. That's what I'm... I want Suarez <laughs> all the time. Like, I use him in Ultimate Team just for his free kicks for that stance. Because I've had practice. I score a lot of goals with him. Oh, man. And a perfect position for that. But, yeah, come on. Come on. But I know because that's the first one I've got in this career mode as well. Suarez, his stance is amazing. He's one of the best players in FIFA. And for me, just because of his free kicks. <laughs> Obviously, not just because of free kicks, but yeah. Makes me win games. But Roberto wins the interception here. Suarez. Come on. Suarez. Roberto. We get it to Andre Gomez. Uh, I was... I was trying to feed Martinez, but I was pretty sure he was offside there. I want, <laughs> Yeah, but the game's probably going to end. I want to try and get him a goal before the end of the match. But it looks like things will end here, and they will. So I am pretty happy with that performance. I'm not going to go as crazy as the crowd. It's a straightforward game. We did what we needed to here, but that, oh, love that pass. 
and the finish by Rakitic. The goalkeeper, the goalkeeper wasn't too happy with that. Uh, we'll be fair. We'll be fair. Wasn't happy with that. But let's take a look at this wonderful free kick. Like that's that's perfect. You couldn't pick it to have it any other way. Luis Suarez, I love you, mate. What a free kick. And we did have a dominating performance. <laughs> 10 shots on target, 17 in total. But yeah, guys, as I said, we will leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and back. I'm back. I'm back with uploads on the channel. Expect uh, daily uploads. Definitely at minimum, at least up until Thursday because Thursday for me in Australia, I will be going away with family again. Um, when I was away the previous week, that was more so personal time, but now it's with family over, like seeing family over Christmas, that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, will enjoy the uploads at least. I'll record a lot for the next few days, and you should be seeing regular videos. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the very next one.